Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, April 4th, 2018. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here at the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. And this is the short version of the April water supply briefing. So let's take a look. So let's start off with a weekend storm, the 7th and the 8th. That yellow dot is the Great Salt Lake. And the main emphasis of this event, it's an atmospheric river event, is going to go up into uh, parts of Idaho, Montana, and go over most of Utah. Northern Utah is going to get an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches in the mountains. Um, and the majority of the precip is going to come as rain uh, about 10,000 feet. We may get a little snow at the end of this. So, nice storm coming. We'll take it. When you look at what's been going on as far as March precipitation goes, the warmer colors indicate below average precipitation. The cooler colors indicate above normal precip. And you can see northern Utah did a little bit better as far as precipitation goes than southern Utah and down in Arizona. When we look at where it counts, this is where uh, the snow is up in the mountains. What you see is northern Utah had ranges of 110 to 130 percent precipitation and this was very good but also we had an atmospheric river event that the majority of this precip fell in the form of rain it's not in snow it's not in the mountains Colorado did much worse Arizona continues to do quite poorly when you look from April through the end of March this is the total amount of precipitation what you see are numbers that are quite grim uh, the best we can do is about 70 to 90 percent in Utah. The farther south you go, it gets down into the 30 to 50 percent range in southern Utah, with even some areas in the southeast below 30 percent. Where it counts in the mountains, this is what it looked like all year long, somewhere in the range of 70 to 90. But November came in form of rainfall, a good chunk of that, and also March had some pretty good rain during that time. We're getting more rain at the beginning of the winter, and we're getting more rain at the end of the winter. So overall, a pretty grim picture as far as precip goes. And then we look at temperatures, and we'll start with March. Uh, things are quite cool for the western U.S., and that's a direct result of that high pressure uh, really breaking down and having a progressive weather pattern with some cooler temperatures, and we'll take it. We even started to rebuild the a snowpack around 7,000 feet and a little bit below that for a brief period, maybe two weeks, and then a little bit more warm temperatures came and melted it all off. When you look from January through March, the last quarter, this is what you see, and this is remnants of that high pressure having temperatures that were somewhere in the range of 5 to 7 degrees in the UNS, but really all over Utah, maybe 1 to 3 degrees above. February is quite cool, March was quite cool, so We'll take it any time we can get cooler temperatures. It's nice. As far as snowpack goes, this is what we see as of the 4th of April in percent of average. And snowpacks, with the exception of the upper green, um, are pretty grim. I think the best we saw was 75% up near the Bear, and then you get down farther south at 45% down in the Virgin. What that translates into with regard to water supply forecast, this is the volume of water anticipated to come out of the mountains and flow into the reservoirs and in the rivers and streams from April 1st through the end of July. And what you see is the upper grain should be right about normal with the bear about 70%, but then when you go farther south, things are, are pretty rough. The Weaver at 45, Six Creeks at 45, Utah Lake at 40. You move down farther south, the severe at 35, and then even 25%, a quarter of what they typically get down in Washington County in the Virgin. So some pretty tough numbers this year. The thing to consider is that we've got very good reservoir storage for the most part across Utah, and that's a direct result of the carryover. We're about 85% full. We don't want to do this back to back to back like we saw from 2012 to 2016. So we're covered for this year for the most part. If you if you have water and reservoir, we're doing okay. We just don't want to do this all the time. This is Brian McInerney. There's my contact info if I can do anything else for you. Uh, pretty tough year, but good reservoir storage. And we will talk about this hopefully for 2019 starting. Thanks again for listening. Bye.